everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new today's video is going to be my shop my stash it's only been about two weeks since my last one but i really enjoyed using what felt like new makeup for the couple weeks that i had them in rotation so i want to go ahead and kind of refresh it again and this is probably going to be like for another two maybe three weeks but i'm honestly just kind of planning on it being in two weeks I never really know if I'm still really enjoying the rotation, I'll keep it in, but sometimes I just really want a refresh. So these are the two palettes I had in for the last two weeks. I really enjoyed only having two palettes in. So I had this one from Myra Cosmetics. This is the Chasing Eternity one. And I put this in the project because I really had only used it a couple of times before the project. So I was able to get a really good opinion about it. And honestly, I really like this palette. I would be totally happy continuing to use this for another few weeks, but I do want to go ahead and kind of switch it up. I just have to say though that I really, really love this palette. I don't love the packaging because it's just super bulky, but that's okay. It fits in my storage. I love this shade right here called Eternity. I think I use that like pretty much every day almost, um, or maybe not every day, but probably like half of the time or more. And then this shade here called Freeing is really fun. It's like really nice to kind of top other shades with. I also really liked dipping into this shade Fancy, which is a matte shade, because it could really kind of warm up any look I created with the palette. When I first saw this palette, I thought it was going to be more warm tone, but it's really pretty neutral. I would say like even this Eternity shade that looks a little bit more cool tone in the pan does translate more neutral. So I like that you can kind of have three in one because it's mostly neutral but you can really pull it warm with the shade or pull it cool tone with some of these other ones um, or even the shade here called goddess and hopeful can kind of bring it a little bit more cool tone so i like that i feel like you have a lot of versatility in here and i really have been enjoying this palette and then i also had in the bh and iggy azalea totally plastic palette this is the pink one and i really enjoyed this one as well so this kind of golden shade is pretty similar to the shade here called Bliss from the Myra palette, but that's the only similarity really. Um, well, except for this really light shade, but I really like those in all my palettes, so I don't mind that. But I really enjoyed especially these two bottom right shades and the middle pink one. I just really love this and also it was so much fun to use them together so this was a lot of fun for me just to have them in rotation so i'm kind of sad to see them go back into the drawer but i will not forget about them <laughs> i'm definitely going to make sure that i continue to use these i really did enjoy using them but i'm going to go ahead and put them up i just kind of wanted to update you so other than that these are my current project pan items yeah my project pan went up today i was just trying to make sure i wasn't like spoiling it but yeah, these are going to be the items in my project pan. So I am going to have them in. I'm not sure how much I'm going to make myself reach for them. I'll probably be taking both of these lip products to work because this is the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine in Cookies and Cocoa. And it's a little bit more pigmented. It actually has a little bit of a tint to it, but it's still not extremely pigmented. So you can apply this without a mirror if you do kind of a light layer. So I want that as like a colored option, especially with it feeling like fall now. I'm all for fall, so I'm I'm in fall mode. But I like that kind of a color for fall. And then I also have the Bite Beauty Yaysayer Gloss in a sugar drizzle. So I'm going to have both of those in my basket just because I feel like I will use them. But I'll probably end up taking them to work. Also, I think I'm going to put my items in this makeup bag. So that's where I'm going to be putting them just to see kind of if I like that better because on the weekends I don't usually use my shawl my stash stuff so I think it'll be nice to kind of just like close this up and use the rest of my collection for the weekends oh this is not my project pan but this is the SPF I'm using I kind of wanted to share it in this video but yeah I used up my Kopari one I was using so this is the Hawaiian Tropic weightless face this is SPF 30 and I've got about half of it left, but I just want to make sure I'm rotating through my SPFs. And I think this is the next one to expire in my collection. So this one is going to stay in my bathroom because I typically put on my SPF first thing so that it has time to sink in until I do my makeup. But I just wanted to kind of mention that is what I'm going to be using. Then for primer, this is the only one I'm going to pull into the basket. I only own a few primers and I really want to use this one up. So this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. I did have this in my last rotation, so I'm going to be keeping it in 
but I just wanted to mention that. For foundation, I pulled in the Purito BB Cream into my project pan, so I definitely want to have this into rotation, but I'm thinking I want to pick another one to go with it. So this product is really cool toned and I love it for every day. It's really perfect for me, but I'm trying to think of something that is different enough to pull into rotation to where if I want a good medium kind of flawless sort of coverage, because that's what this really is for me. It's like my perfect coverage product. So that's a more medium, but it covers up everything. So if I want that, I want to reach for this product so I can try and use it up. Recently, I've been kind of into a full glam sort of look, but as far as everyday goes, sometimes I think this one's a little bit too finicky just because I really need to make sure that I prep the skin well. And if I'm in a hurry, primer is going to be like one of the first steps to go. So I don't think I'm going to pull that in. I did have this Ilia one in rotation in my last makeup basket, but I really didn't use it but just once, I think, because I was focusing on the ColourPop Pretty Fresh one. And this is a skin tint, so it's pretty light coverage, which is opposite of what I said I've been wanting to use. But it can really build up that Purito one for coverage. And this one is buildable from Ilia. But I feel like those give me two very different looks. Which sometimes I don't mind having something a little bit more peachy. They both do match my skin really nicely when I blend them in. And I think that these two formulas are really different enough that I will enjoy having both of them in the basket. So I think these are going to be my two for this rotation. Also from my project pan, I do have this NYX Epic Wear Liner in Gilded Taupe. That stays in this little jar with all my eye stuff. So let's go ahead and go through that. I currently have this brown liquid liner. I'm going to go ahead and put this up. I just feel like when I'm wanting a brown liquid liner, it's usually on the weekends when I'm trying to do something more fun. But I have been actually trying to reach into this. This is the Grande Liner with the Lash Enhancing Serum in it. It's a black liquid liner, but I do want to make sure that I'm using it. It doesn't expire until January of 2024, so I just want to remember to use it. But I'm going to go ahead and put the brown one up for now. I don't know. As I'm saying that, I did just pick up a brown mascara. So I'm like, should I keep it in? I'm going to keep it in. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, I'm all over the place with these videos, I feel like. But yeah, um... Yesterday I picked up the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara and I picked up the brown one because I used up my only brown mascara about a month ago and I really missed it so I went ahead and picked up another brown option. Then my other mascaras I have put in my empties bin but these are the two that are still running strong. I have the Essence Lash Princess the Sculpted Volume Mascara and then the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara as well. So these are still working pretty well. I'm kind of hoping to use one of them up soon so I can open up another one because I do have several on backup that I'm really itching to try and use. I think the Ilia one should be kind of close to being used up, but I've been kind of reaching for the Essence one more. So we'll see about how that goes. But I'm going to keep the liner in from Grande. I always keep in the NYX Glitter Glue, but I'm going to switch out the Primer Potion from Urban Decay. And I'm going to bring in the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. I'm trying this one out some more. I did pretty well today. I filmed a tutorial with the uh, Natasha Denona Glam Palette, and it seemed to wear really nicely on that. So I'm going to give it a few more shots. I am going to put this one up. I don't think this is actually in rotation. This is the Profusion Wing It Super Fine Eyeliner. This one I feel like is drying out already. So, you know. Even though it's just a couple of dollars, I don't think it's really that good of a value, but I'm going to go ahead and put it up for now. And then I also have the NYX Epic Wear in Deepest Brown. This is a pencil liner. I'm going to keep this one in as well. I've been really enjoying a kind of tight lining with an eyeliner every day, so I'm going to keep that in. But all of those stay on my vanity in the jar. And then I also have this one. This just houses my three kind of main brow products. These will stay the same as well. So I have the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Ash Brown. Always keep that one in. I've really been enjoying the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This one's in Brunette, so I'm going to keep that in as well. And of course, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So those are my three like favorite brow products right now. So those are definitely going to stay on the vanity. And then I'll also keep this in from Last Rotation. This is in my project pan. It's the Chilling Wonder Powder from Hard Candy. I am still going to keep in the color the color. Cover Girl, not Color Pop. I am still going to keep in the Cover Girl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder. 
I really want to pick up another pressed powder because at the moment this is the only one I have and I would like to have another option to dip into but for now this is the only one I've got so I'm going to go ahead and keep it in but I'm actually not going to reach for any face palettes this rotation because I feel like I've been neglecting my single cheek products so I kind of want to have some fun picking those out which I guess we will do next so these are all out of order I didn't even pretend like I'm organized for you guys I'm so sorry but you know it is what it is I'm thinking, I've been kind of thinking about my cream products. I think I want to pull in the Oma Say, no, not Say What, the Double Take Sculpt and Strobe. This is the Contour and Highlight Duo. I love this so much and I really want to use it some more. So I want to pull that in. But next rotation, I really need to pull out another cream product. Like, I feel like this one has kind of sat a little bit neglected in my collection. It's the KVD one, but maybe next time. But for blush, I was actually looking at this today. This is the Kaja Whipped Dream, and I have this in the shade 02. So I'm thinking about pulling this one in. I don't know why, but if I want to pull in the Charlotte Tilbury blush, I feel like I want to do it at the same time as the contour wand. So I'm thinking I'm going to hold off on that one. And yeah, I think I'll pull this one in from Kaja. It's just a really nice neutral pink sort of shade that I feel like is very easy to use. And also the Oma Doubles, whatever, this product, I can I keep getting tripped up on the name for this, but I feel like they're all really easy products to blend out, which is what I need during the week, especially before work, because I don't need to be rushing. Oh, I gotta put that back on my hand. I took, I swatched it so that when I pick a powder, I can remember what this color looks like. So we'll swatch that again. But I think that's it for the cream products. Part of me wants to bring in this duo from Charlotte Tilbury because I just love it so much, but I'm gonna see if I want something else. I'll hold it out for now. I'm always not sure which highlight to pick because I used the Catrice one today actually and I, I really like this one. And I also love the Pixie one too. Mm, I don't know. I feel like I usually use this left side. So let's kind of compare. I kind of go between the two in the pixie, but I usually use the left one more. I don't know. Let's swatch the pink. I think I'm feeling this one because I want the options to be different enough. So, well, I don't know. This one's a little bit more pinky. So here's the highlight from the Alma stick. And that one is definitely more pink, but it looks so subtle on the cheekbones that I feel like this would look so different. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. That would be really pretty if you like topped it too. Okay, yeah, that just sold me on that one. That's so pretty as a combo. So I'm gonna bring in this one from Catrice. It's the More Than Glow Highlighter and it's in Supreme Rose Beam 020 as the shade. So I'm gonna pull that in for my highlight. Pixie one I still love though, you guys. This will probably be in my next basket. So I guess since I picked a single highlight, I'm gonna hold off on this duo from Charlotte Tilbury until next time. Maybe next time I pull in most of my Charlotte Tilbury products just for that kind of a rotation but for now i'll wait so bronzer 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 i feel like oh I, oh man i need to use this one too i already picked a highlight but i really need to use that one it's just a little bit more chalky i feel like than the other ones and i don't tend to love that so i guess since it's a baked formula it's good to know maybe baked highlights just aren't my favorite i don't know though because i really like it in the ulta beauty face palette Oh, well, I don't want that one in rotation right now. So back to bronzers. Losing my train of thought here. Makeup just like makes me so excited. I feel like the kid in the candy store right now. So I love shot my stash videos so much. So, okay, I think these are all of my powder bronzers. Am I missing one? Does Koki have a powder bronzer? Because if not, they need to get one. Yeah, I think those are all of my single powder bronzers. Okay. So that kind of helps me narrow it down. I don't think I want to use the Milk Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. I feel like I'm leaning more towards either the Elf or the Milani. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the Milani. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put this one back. I gave this one a lot of love a little while ago trying to hit pan on it. And I feel like by doing that I kind of neglected these other ones. Especially the Milani ones new to me. But the e.l.f. one I'm getting a pretty good dent in. And the Spectrum one is the darkest of the three. So I guess I'm going to take these highlights off. Even though those are such pretty swatches. Let's swatch the 
bronzers. Let's go ahead and swatch the bronzer. The bronzers. First up, this is the one from e.l.f. This is the Forever Sunkissed bronzer. It's very light, which I love for my skin tone. And then the Milani one. This one is the Silky Matte. It's in the shade 01, and I highly suggest trying to pick this up in store. They changed the packaging, and I love this one. This is the old packaging where it actually has like a little notch to pull it open. The new one is just like a lot harder to open in my opinion. So I really like the old packaging. This one is so hard to swatch bronzers. I feel like they just, they're so different when you use a brush with them. These ones are very similar though. I would say the undertone in the e.l.f. one has a slight bit more red to it. And the Milani one has a little bit more kind of yellow undertone. I feel like I don't want to use the Spectrum one this time. This one's like a good bit deeper and it's just not as quick to apply in the morning. Sometimes I go a little bit heavy handed with this one, which really isn't that big of a deal, but I like this one when I'm doing a more glam look. So I'm going to put that one away, but look how pretty this packaging is, you guys. I love it. Okay, so between the two of these, I feel like I'm still leaning towards the Milani one because we're not quite into fall. We're still in summer a little bit. So I feel like this undertone leans a little bit more summery, a little bit more warm tone. So I think I will like that one, especially since we have this cream contour as well, which is going to be, of course, a very cool tone. I feel like that's a good kind of option to have in the basket. I feel like I'm so bad about mentioning this, but I only use this basket during the week and then I use whatever I want to on the weekends. So I kind of briefly mentioned that about when I told you about this bag, but I feel like I never mentioned that. So I like to have well-rounded options. So we'll hold off on the e.l.f. one and we'll use the Milani one this time around, which means we can pick a powder blush now. So I'm thinking again, I kind of want another neutral option. I don't know. I literally just took this out of my project panel and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should use this one. We definitely have a lot more powder blushes than bronzers to choose from. So right off the bat, I do like the Koki ones, but they're quite pigmented and I feel like I'm just being honest with myself, you guys. Usually during the week, I don't like waking up early, so I feel like I'm kind of rushing to do my makeup and with these being so pigmented i feel like they don't really lend themselves to a quick makeup look quite as much which isn't a bad thing but for me for every day i feel like one of these four would just be a better option so i'm gonna kind of rule out the cokey ones for my shot my stash but don't worry i'm still gonna be using them like when i film videos and stuff or wear them on the weekends when i have more time to do my makeup. That just sounded like a crack. I hope I didn't just break this one. Essence has such great products sometimes with their packaging. It's just like always awful. Okay, so these are our four options. These two are kind of similar and then these two are kind of similar, but they're all slightly different. Here is the liquid blush that we're using. So I'm just going to swatch the powders and then choose. This is the Essence. All you need is pink, I believe it's called. Yeah, all you need is pink, number 20. It's their Mosaic blush. It's a really, really pretty blush. Then we have the Etude House Lovely Cookie Blusher in the shade Ginger Honey Cookie. This one is so neutral and it's so pretty. It's just like the nicest slight flush to the cheeks. I really like that one. But I feel like when you blend out this one from Kaja, it's kind of similar. So I'm going to go ahead and rule out this Etude House one. Okay, so now we have two more to swatch. This one is ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. All you need is space. I'm kind of feeling like I want to pull this one in. It has the prettiest little sheen to it. It's not exactly matte. And then, of course, we have the Hourglass Mood Exposure. This one's just so much prettier when you apply it with a brush. I feel like it doesn't swatch very well. <laughs> I feel like in the swatch, this one looks the most similar to Kaja. But I'm telling you, on the cheeks, I feel like... It isn't the most similar. So yeah, I'm going to go with the ColourPop. All you need is space. I don't know why. I feel like though, like for real, I feel like when you actually put them on, those do not look similar. I think because the Kaja one really does blend out to be a lot more sheer than the swatch on my hand. I realized I forgot to mention concealer. So I'm trying to decide right now. I'm thinking I'm actually going to pull in two because 
The Flower Beauty one is more cool tone, which would go really well with the Perito BB Cream. And then this one from Pure Cosmetics, the 4-in-1 Sculpting Concealer, would go really well with the Ilia Skin Tint. So I think I'm just going to go with that and have two different ones. For setting spray, I'm going to bring in this one from e.l.f. This is the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist, and I haven't used that one in a while. So I'm going to bring that in. I had the Urban Decay All Nighter in here last time, but I'll switch it up for this next rotation. I really do like the e.l.f. one. So we have our lip bin. I went ahead and put everything back from last rotation so we could find a new set for this coming up couple of weeks. Let's pick the palettes first and then we'll come back to lips because I, I feel like I need to know what palettes I'm going for. I know one of them. So I know this rotation. I really want to bring this one in from BH Cosmetics. This is the Hanging in Hawaii palette. I got this and then I used it kind of a lot when I first got it and I feel like it's been a little bit neglected in my collection but I love it and I really enjoyed only having two palettes in. I kind of want to pull in this one, but honestly, these are pretty similar, and I feel like if I put them in, I'm going to reach for the KL Polish, KL Polish one, oh my gosh. I'm going to read reach for the Kathleen Lights one more, just because it's new. So again, I'm going to hold off on this. I did still reach for this a little bit the last couple weeks, and I actually used it yesterday, so I'm still using it, but I don't want to put it in rotation. I really want this rotation to like help me use older stuff. So then I'm kind of thinking about this one. I feel like those could be really pretty together because this is more like cool tone and pink leaning. This is the new nude from Huda, but let me keep looking. I'm not sure. And now I'm gonna be filming a three looks one palette with this one soon, but I think it's just too colorful for me to use every day. I don't really wear colorful shades to work, so I'm not going to use this one. I'm trying to think of like some more like neutrally sort of color stories, and I just don't think I want any of these for the next couple weeks. I'm dying to reach for this again, but again, it's just a little bit too bright for the most part. I really love the two shades here for like every day, but I feel like I have them in there. So I might try and reach for these two shades like, you know, once in the rotation just to kind of use them because these are so buttery. I cannot get over just how amazing they are and then they'd be so pretty with a couple of these shimmer shades I feel like. So I need to make a point to reach for this. Maybe I'll actually bring it into rotation. I think I'm going to wait for next time to bring in one of these. I used the Natasha Denona Glam palette today actually and I, I love this palette so much. But I, I kind of want to wait one more rotation to pull in something so cool tone because I've really been enjoying using warm tones. So I think I've made my decision. I think I'm actually going to bring in three palettes this rotation with the kind of exception of I'm probably not going to reach for this one so much. I really want to reach for the Hanging in Hawaii the most this rotation. I'm just feeling very inspired by it. And then I feel like the new nudes is a really good way to kind of bring in the fall looks without going as cool tone as that's taupe. I don't know, part of me, now that I'm saying that out loud, part of me feels like I should wait and use this one. Okay, I'm kind of like planning ahead here, but what if next time I brought in this palette and then either both or one of these? Because I really want to use the Hanging in Hawaii palette and really just kind of get to know it more. Ooh, I might do that. That would be a lot of fun, I feel like, to mix all of these together. Okay, I'm putting it into existence. So if you're excited about that, be sure to be subscribed so that you can see that rotation because I'm honestly really excited for that. That's like the perfect fall setup in my opinion. I love that. So I'm only going to bring in two. <laughs> I'm going to bring in both of these palettes. So again, Hanging in Hawaii. And th this is the Nomad Cartagena palette. I don't think I said that. So I'm going to bring in both of these. I definitely feel like I could use some mattes in this and maybe this shimmer shade with these in conjunction because I'm telling you guys, this palette is so impressive. Like even just these shimmer shades here are stunning. I love them so much. So I'm really excited for that. And then the mattes are amazing. This one looks really pretty. This shade here looks super pretty too. Okay. Yep. I think that's a good decision. I'm really excited to use this. So I think that'll be really perfect. So now that we know that and we know our cheek products, let's pick out lips. Right off the bat, I think this is going to be a good one. This is from Milani. It's the shade called Secret. 
I think that'll be perfect with some of these more pink tones. I really like that for an option. I'm actually gonna swatch these as we go. I'm really just like in the mood to shop my stash, you know? So I'm excited about this rotation. I like this shade too from NYX, but I think it's too similar. Yeah, they're pretty similar as far as just like the vibe that they give off. One's more creamy than the other. That's gonna be a maybe, because I actually do like that as an option. This one is going to be too fall-like, I think. I don't know. I think I want to give a break from this one here from Ulta. <laughs> These are all like, you know, cool tone pinks. Yeah, I'm going to take a break from my Ulta one because I've been using it so much lately. I love it. And I actually looked up another shade today. I went to Ulta and I actually looked at another shade of this. And I think I know the next one I'm going to get when Ulta has a good in-house brand sale. So I'm very excited for that. I'm thinking about bringing in one of these glosses from Ulta. These were in a little set. I do have a video coming out on this. It should be out pretty soon. Yeah, I think I'll bring in this one. So this is this shiny lip gloss from Ulta Beauty in the shade Champagne Shimmer. And I feel like I'm gonna hold off on the NYX Minimalism one, which is this creamy pink shade, because I could top the Milani one with this gloss and I feel like I would really like that combo. I don't want to get too many options, you know? Okay, I also feel like this is a good opportunity to pull this one in. This is the NYX lip pencil or crayon in the shade Lace Detail and it's a little bit more neutral but I found that it kind of dried my lips out. They look a little similar in the swatches but this one's really nude. It doesn't really have a lot of pink to it. I want to give it another shot and see if it works a little bit better for me. I'm trying to think what else I might want, but this is actually like a pretty good kind of mixture because I have a more neutral option or a pink option and I can kind of mix that in. I feel like I want something a little bit more warm, but what do I want? Yeah, this one. Okay, I'm going to bring in the Indulge Me Glowing Lip from ColourPop. It's a little bit more warm tone here, so I feel like that kind of covers my bases. I haven't been into a deeper lip looks lately not yet at least so i'm not going to pull in anything like that but i'm going to go ahead and grab the nude beige lip pencil from nyx i feel like that's going to be a good combo to kind of cool things down if i want to and other than that i don't think i need a lip liner i think that's going to cover all of our bases so i'm really happy with that kind of selection i feel like that fits everything really perfectly i'm so excited about this so this is going to be my shop my stash rotation for the next couple of weeks. And then of course I still have my brow and mascara products as well, but I'm so excited for this rotation. I'm actually really excited to do my makeup tomorrow. I don't know why, but today for some reason just feels like I really am picking out new makeup, which is the whole point of the shop my stash. So I'm excited for it. I hope that you guys are too. Let me know if you want to see any videos with any of these products and let me know if you're excited for the potential palettes for next rotation being the huda new nude and then the ColourPop that's taupe and natasha denona glam i feel like this is kind of like easing our way into fall so excited to use these products and yeah let me know what you think down below this is like the chattiest shot my stash i think i've had so let me know if you guys like that kind of style i really enjoyed it so it just kind of depends like how I'm feeling when I'm picking my basket, I guess. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!